Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and let me show you what you can learn in this tutorial. You are probably looking for clothes and that's what I will show you, at least how to put this weird flag on your head. Right, let's actually move this and you can see that even without gravity it's sort of flying, moving, simulating claws and that's what you are probably looking for. So welcome in this 10 minute long tutorial, probably less than 10 minutes, we will see once I edit it. Let's get to it. First of all you need to have a skeletal mesh, it doesn't work with a static mesh. So what I have simply done is to find some model on SketchUp, I will leave you a link somewhere if you want to use same for a weird reason, I don't know why. And added few bones to it, it doesn't really matter, the one, one bone would be just fine. Then what I can do is to simply import it into Unreal and make sure that you are importing it as skeletal mesh. Da -da, import all. I've prepared also some material, blah blah blah, you know how it goes. Let's just quickly apply it. So now you can see that if I put it in the game, it looks just... Alright, you cannot test physics like that. Let's go in physics test. And don't be worried, you won't be graded right here. And you can see that if I simulate it and move it in any way, it's just a piece of mesh that doesn't have any thing basically. You can move it, but it doesn't simulate any kind of clothes. That flag is just weirdly there. There is one more thing you need to quickly check, and that's that your mesh needs to have some polygons to simulate. If you will have just uh, like three polygons right here, that simulation will look terrible, whatever you do. So make sure that you have it as at least sort of high poly. It's not that performance light, so I wouldn't recommend it to do it for mobile game or somewhere where you need to save performance. So let's open skeletal mesh. And you can see that I can see it only from this side, that's because polygons here are just one-sided, as everywhere else. And what we will do is to right-click on it and create closing data from selection. You don't need to enable any plugin, anything like that, just right-click on it. You can name it if you want, let's call it just flag, and create. Now let's click on activate close data. And nothing is happening because we need to click on those closing data. So if I click on it, you can see that I can now paint over this. Let's say that I want to simulate only this lower part of the flag. So let's scroll down. Make sure that the radius is smaller. Let's say only 20. And strength can be like that. And paint value, let's leave to 100. That means it will be simulated all 100, just all of it, you know. And I want this part to be simulated for 100 and then let's lower it a little bit, set it only to 50 and go like this. And first part will be set to 0 and you can paint it if you want, but you don't need to of course. It, it automatically won't simulate if it is not set. What you can do now is go into cloth paint uh, da, da, a little bit higher. Here in config there is cloth configs, uh, double click on it, which means click on both of these arrows and find here somewhere settings. For example, you can play with dumping, that's basically how much it will dump off once it will collide with any collision. For this instance, you can probably leave it on default. I would always recommend you to leave it on default and see what will happen. And you can also change closing wind methods from legacy to accurate. When you are simulating close on the character that is right in front of the player or see it very often, it seems like accurate works much better because it's accurate, you know. You can also put here higher gravity scale so it won't move that much, which I probably won't do. Let's set it to 105. Uh, 15, actually, it's not 105, it's still 9.81. And let's now now let's close it. And we have back our mesh, so you need to now right click and set it to apply closing data. It will quickly apply it on, on everything. And now you can see. You could, could have seen, probably not now, that, that it's already simulating. So if I rotate it now, which I can't do, I will have to say make sure that it's saved and then go to again physics simulation. And if I simulate it, you can see that close is simulating. Congratulations guys, press the like button to show your gratitude. Very, thank you very much. But that's not everything what I will show you, of course. You can move that, whatever you want. Let's actually set uh, and put it into our character. You can just put it in the game like that, but if you do just that, nothing will happen, of course, because it doesn't simulate physics. So what, what you need to do is to 
look at this because I have here my wonderful face. And enable here simulate physics, set it to on, and I have also disabled gravity and that's just for now to, uh, to make it look better I suppose. Now if I click on play and add some impulse to it, you can see that it's floating like in space, but what's important is that if I will be fast enough and actually be able to see that flag, you can see that Claus is simulating and falling all around. Those single-sided polygons are not really good for this presentation. No need to worry, because now we will actually put it into character. So let's scroll this back down and click on edit the third person character. So what I can do here is to add here skeletal mesh. And because I have it selected right here, it automatically switched to that. If it didn't, you can just find it here. So what I will do is to scale it down and put it right here next to his head. Because you know what? I make sure that it's under mesh and, and here put parent suggest to head. So right now it will follow head. Yeah, that's kind of weird. So now let's put it on really that head. He will have this little flag going from his head. Whatever, not my thing. Doesn't really matter. You can see that it is already simulating a bit that close, but that's not why I am for. Uh, but uh, that's not important now because if I play it now, it it actually does simulate physics, all right, that's surprise. <laughs> anyway, so now you don't actually need to even set simulate physics, it automatically does it. You can actually even move it and, oh, it won't react, too bad. So let's put it into game, play, and you have wonderful flag, best to set up some capture the flag game or whatever, something that your player will have flag out of his head. I don't know, I don't understand this Fortnite stuff. And here he goes. Okay, that's about it. I hope that this short tutorial was helpful for you. And if it was, I hope that you consider watching other tutorials or possibly support me on Patreon. That's all up to you. Or you can join the Discord server, all the stuff we talk about game developers. We, yeah, we actually talk behind their backs. And I'm speaking too much right now. So I'm Sir Fancy and see you later.